my collaboration, I worked with Georgina Clark, the coordinator for the Plymouth Combined Projects. We worked together to create a series of anti-hate crime films. My name's Gina Clark and I run a project called Plymouth Combined Projects, which is for 13 to 18 year olds. I met Gina before this project, on a previous project we worked together. Oh, well, I was, you were highly recommended <laughs> by a, a mutual friend who you've done filming for. Um, who said you might be interested in doing something with us. So when we did our dream sequence for Patterns, you got were well on board with that and that's when we first worked with you and you decided you'd like to work with us again. This one um, is a series of hate crime films. Um, the first We've just completed the first one, haven't we? So that's about race crime. And um, the young people of the project have helped script it and um, are acting in it. Um, the process started in... I think it was November. We met up for an initial meeting to discuss the ideas and this was just myself and Gina. And from there on we carried our weekly meetings on a Saturday where we, we'd get the kids in and we'd discuss ideas, we'd, talk, we'd watch examples of other films and talk about what sort of stuff that should go into these films, what kind of content they need. We're setting them schools as a way to raise awareness to them about that this kind of bullying happens in the schools and they need to do something about it as we both feel that the schools don't do enough to prevent this kind of bullying. To bring awareness to hate crime, um, especially to young people, I think um, there's a lot of learned behaviour um, in Plymouth from adults and I don't think that's very positive. So it's really to give them a broader view of what hate crime is um, and to go along with a government initiative or challenge it. Go back to where you came from. Nobody wants you here. Where have you been in your bombs? Go back to where you came from. Come over here, take our jobs. For research, we watched Kid or Hood to decide on what kind of content they should have and what kind of other films are out there. Uh, we watched a anti-hate hate racism film, which is developed by the Youth Offenders Group. However, we felt that it wasn't the kind of stuff we wanted for as it was done in a documentary format. So, um, two years ago, I made another awareness film for depression and, used, and I showed them that and they all found it quite hard-hitting and felt that that's the kind of style we should go for and so we decided to use the same style from that film. We scripted it so that it mainly takes place within a school environment or a young person environment um, because I think they're affected just as much as adults by this. After Gina wrote the first first script, we spoke to someone from Lipson Community College who so that we can use that school as the filming area. Casting that was a bit of an issue as there wasn't really many ethnic minorities in the group. So uh, the kids, we basically asked the kids to find out, find anyone who would fit the role if they know anyone who would be interested. And then we, and from that we got Zim who picked up the script really well, he, he got it the day before the first promo date and he got into the character quite well and he was really up for it and we were really pleased we got him. Uh, filming with Gina was, was great fun, uh, she's a very creative person, always has new ideas to bring to the table and, and I enjoyed working with her. Uh, I think we've enjoyed it, it's been funny, um, the kids have enjoyed it, they always enjoy um, filming and acting and you know having their parts and everything but I think the overall experience has been a positive one you know if you're asking if we'd work with you again Bill yes we would um, uh, the kids just had a good time and learned a lot